In this video, we will learn all about composite solids. Now that word composite means sort of combined. So composite solids are solids that are made up of other solids. So for example, if we took a rectangular prism and attached to the top of it a pyramid, then this would be a composite solid because it is a solid that is made up of two other solids, a prism and a pyramid. So to find the volume of a composite solid, all you have to do is find the volume of all the different solids that you can figure out the volume of and add them up. So the volume is the sum of the volume of all the pieces. Next, if you want to figure out the surface area for a composite solid, what you need to do is find the surface area of the new solid. So really, you can't find the surface area of, for example, in this case, the pyramid and then of the prism and add them up. The reason why is because then you would be figuring out the area of this face right here twice, which isn't even one of the outer faces anymore because those two solids are combined. So you really just have to find the surface area of the whole new solid. So find the area of all the faces you can see and add them up. So it's the sum of the area of all the visible faces. So just think about all the faces you can see, find the area of each one and add them up. Now there's another type of sort of composite solid, which is when you take a solid, for example, a cylinder, and remove something from it. So remove a solid from it. So what if we took this cylinder and then removed a smaller cylinder from the middle? And we wanted to know just something about the remaining part. So in order to find the volume of that, you would find the volume of each one so find the volume of each cylinder and subtract the volume of the smaller cylinder from the volume of the larger cylinder. So in other words, you would subtract the volume of that removed solid, that cylinder, from the volume of the whole total cylinder. And then what if you wanted to find the surface area of this? Again, you just really want to think about what are all of the visible outer faces or surfaces. And in this case, you'd need to think about for the top part, we want the area of the circle, the big circle, minus the area of the small circle, and that would be the same on the bottom as well. And for the outer portion, it would just be the same, so that surface area of the lateral face for the big cylinder will also be included. But then for this inside part, that lateral surface, we also need the surface area of that lateral surface, which is the rectangle when unwrapped. So you really just need to think about it and figure out the area of all the different faces that you can see. So the real trick with composite solids is to just think about what you already know. If you already know how to find the volume or surface area of pyramids, prisms, cylinders, cones, and spheres, then you will be able to figure out the volume and surface area of composite solids by just combining that information together.